Hey guys, welcome to my video. So tonight we have quite a bit going on as you can see. Um, let's just start off with the motor. Uh, this has a one inch Neo magnet in it. This is just um, a coil they had left over for um, from a different motor that didn't fit right so I was able to use this for this experiment. So this coil has actually three different wires on it. We have a 26 which is these. We're not going to use these tonight. That's for a Bedini circuit. And then we have two number 18s so the first one going to the main circuit with this this is our, my little opto MOSFET circuit so be running off this opto and then the second wires come through here these are um, isolated output through full bridge a uh, little capacitor and this comes all the way down into here and um, this cap time set up for 15 volts um, and it's going to be charging this 3.3 amp hour so net 1256 and then the main output out of the main circuit comes through here this is a little bit bigger cap dump this is four ten thousands and this one's set at 18 volt trigger so right around 19 volts will be going into here with that voltage 11.9 and then my little mystery circuit um, the power comes in from the power supply back there comes in goes out to the circuit and then these little boost circuits um, provide energy for these two cap dumps. These are set at 15 volts each and these are going to be charging the lithium titanate cells with the voltages. And um, then last but not least we have a little pulse width modulator that's already kind of dialed um, where I want it to be. And then we'll have the scope so we can check it out. So let's um, fire this all up and you guys can get a chance to see how it runs. So as this gets up to speed, uh, we'll be using it about three quarters of an amp. Somewhere right in there between six and eight hundred milliamps. Here's our scope shot. And um, as you can see, there's a, a lot of oscillation. So this is firing um, once per revolution. But with the pulse width modulator, we're able to make it into like 20 something pulses and um, yeah pretty neat so now that we're up to speed here so we're averaging about between six and eight hundred milliamps um, so look at this this isolated output right here from the coil is coming down to this cap dump and this is what this one's doing so that's about half an amp every pulse so it kind of bouncing up and then the output from the main circuit uh, it's coming through here into this one with the 18 volt trigger and um, it's putting out a little bit more power so we're um, doing about well, two two amps every pulse you can see the lights as it's pulsing and then from my little mystery circuit uh, the first cap dump we're pulsing out about 600 milliamps or so um, into this lithium titanate which uh, responds really well and then the second part of the mystery circuit goes into this one and then this is what we're doing on that one. So about 600 milliamps each pulse too. And um, yeah, the lithium titanate really absorbed the charge well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a little experiment that I'd share with you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, um, just leave them in the comments. And don't forget to check out my store. Thanks for watching.